Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is just continue on with the um, little survival game um, theme that we have going on here. Um, and we're going to look at adding in, uh, I'll show, well, I'll show you what we've got already. So at the moment we've got at the top there um, that we can pick up um, these herbs that we can use for health. We can pick up these ammo boxes and we can pick up these antidotes um, that can heal us when we get poisoned. Um, so you can see that we've got an ammo count and a health bar down the bottom left. Um, all these things going on from the previous videos. So we're going to add to this and we're going to add um, like a hunger bar and a thirst bar. Okay, and then obviously if you wanted, you could add those, um, you know, like um, food and drinks onto your inventory bar at the top in the same way that we've done before. So I'm not going to put that bit into this video because, you know, you hopefully you've already learned how to do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to set up the health, uh, sorry, the uh, hunger and thirst bars. So um, what we're first going to do is we're going to find in first person in blueprints, we're going to find the first person game mode. OK, because we need to create our variables in here. So um, normally when you open this one up, it doesn't look like the traditional blueprint window. Um, if it doesn't, don't worry, you can click here, it says open full blueprint editor. And then we're back to what you are probably more used to. So we're going to create two variables here. One of them is going to be hunger. And the other is going to be thirst. Okay, you don't have to have two, you could just have one or the other, up to you. Um, so we're going to change the uh, variable type to a float both of them and if we just hit compile then we can change the initial value so the initial value um, that we're going to go for is one for both and you've got to imagine one being a hundred percent okay um, and what we're going to do in here is we're going to just put together a bit of a script to reduce the hunger and the thirst over time um, you know, one can go quicker than the other or whatever it is that you want to do so we're going to start with an event tick, and we're going to um, have a delay, and the delay is going to be of one because it's every second that it's going to go down. But this is going to be something that you can change and modify um, depending on what you want it to do and how fast you want this bar to go down. All right, and then that's going to set the hunger. It's going to set it to minus. I'm going to hit minus and I can find the subtract option. I'm just going to drag in hunger. Plug that in there. And it's going to take, let's say, 0 0.1. Um, so every one second, it's going to take 0 0.1 from that initial value of 1. OK, you'll see that happening when we get it set up visually. But um, yeah, you can customize these two values depending on how fast you want that hunger bar to reduce. OK. Um, and then obviously we need a branch, so a condition, if statement. Um, so when uh, I'm going to type in the equals key, I'm going to go less than or equal to. And I'm going to hook this one up to hunger as well. Alrighty, so you can see all of that. So when the uh, hunger gets to zero, then what do we want to happen? Again, this is going to be up to you. All I'm going to do for this is do a print string that says game over, but you would more likely have, um, you know, like a screen or a menu that would come up you know, to say that, you know, game over, whatever, retry, whatever it might be. Um, that's going to be personal to you. So I'm just going to leave that as print string. Right, so that is, so every frame of the game is going to um, delay by a second and take away 0 0.1 from our hunger. Uh, when that hunger gets to zero, you know, game over, we're dead. Okay, so how are we going to set this up so we can visually see it? Uh, let's close you down for now. And we need to go to, um, i trying to remember where I put it. <laughs> I think it's in pickups. Is it? So trying to find my widget basically. That's the widget for press E. 
Um, I haven't come back to this file for a little while. <laughs> Where did, hopefully, I hopefully you uh, manage your files better. Um, inventory must be here. Inventory HUD. There we are. Okay, so here's my HUD, um, which you've seen already. So I'm going to add to this same HUD. If you don't know how to do this part, adding a HUD, then you can go back to the the first parts of the tutorials. And I'm going to add in a progress bar. Move this poison one down here, maybe. Progress bar over here. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to have it um, at one for the, the percentage. So that's full, 100%. And the color for um, what I want for hunger, maybe like a dark green. And I'm just going to put some text above it so that it's clear to the player what this is. And that's just going to say hunger. Of course, you can um, you know, design your HUD uh, how you want to. Make sure you anchor these. I'm going to anchor those to the left. All right, now what we want to do is bind this progress bar to that hunger variable that we created. So we're going to go to percent to the binding. Um, so when they're ready, I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. <laughs> uh, that's probably the one for my um, health. I just didn't name it. <laughs> right, so create binding. And this is going to be, um, where's the variable stored? It's stored in the first person game mode, if you remember. So the object, therefore, is going to be get game mode. And the variable we're looking for is get hunger. And then we can plug that into there. And that's going to link uh, this progress bar to this variable. So let's compile that. And let's just push play. And you can see hunger on the left hand side now. And that hunger is depleting over time without us doing anything until it eventually gets to zero. And then you see it says game over in the top left of the screen. OK, obviously, you're going to want yours to go a little slower. Otherwise, your your player is going to die of hunger really ridiculously quickly. Um, so if we go back to the game mode, um, what we can do is we can change this. So it's every well, you, I'll let you play around with them. You know, you can up these numbers and change these numbers until that bar goes down at the speed that you want it to, depending on your game design. Uh, you know, you might want your, you know, hunger bar to go down quite quickly because there's lots of resources available. There might be hardly any resources on your map, so you want that bar to go down really slowly. Up to you, okay? But we've also got thirst. So what we're going to do with our event tick, is we're going to move it over so that we can put in here a sequence. What sequence does it allows us to put something else onto the same event so i'm just going to come down here and put on a new delay all right i'm going to put that on one as well and this is going to be very similar or just the same really so set first to minus and subtract get first and let's do 0 0.01 on thirst. So, you know, we're going to, you know, get thirst, less thirsty than we do hungry. Um, branch. You can see I'm just repeating what's up here, really. Um, so I'm pushing equals so I can get less than or equal to. And I can hook up that one to there. OK. And then I don't need another print string. So this can also go to game over when that equals zero. OK, so when our thirst gets to zero, we're also going to be dead. Um, but this is going to go down a bit slower. So let's compile that and go back to our HUD. And I'm just going to copy and paste these so it's a bit easier. I'm going to change that to thirst and then copy and paste the progress bar. Thirst, we can change the color for. Maybe we want that to be blue. That makes a bit more sense. Uh, 
that'll do. So we've got a first bar. So now obviously the binding is going to be a bit different. So we go to percent again, and then we're going to create another binding and do the same thing we did before, but for first. So we're going to cast to um, first person game mode. That's where that variable is. Going to get game mode and then um, get first this time, if I can spell. There we are, link that to there, compile. So they're both on the same HUD, but they're linked to different variables that we've created, okay, with the different times on. So if we push play now, you should see that the hunger goes down quite quickly, first goes down uh, really slowly. Okay. And then when we die, we get to nothing. Okay, so that's that essentially, but I imagine you would want to pick up something that is going to increase um, that hunger bar or that thirst bar. Um, so what I'm going to do now, um, that might be all you want to do, but you know, let's go on to the next bit. I'm going to go to content, um, go to pickups, the way that I've arranged it. So I had one for herbs there. Should I open that? Um, you know, it has all of this stuff here. In fact, yeah, what I'm going to do, I don't, I don't want to go on too long because essentially um, what you can create is the same thing we did with the herbs, exactly the same thing, um, but instead of it adding to um, your health, bar, which you have in the bottom left, it's going to add to the hunger or the thirst bar. Okay, so rather than me show you everything and hand hold, hand hold you through the whole thing, you're going to, you know, you're here to learn. So you're going to learn better if you try and sort of repeat that process yourself and try and get it so you can apply when you pick up an object, you can add to your hunger, add to your thirst in the same way that we did to adding to the health. Okay, I think that's more beneficial to, to you as someone who's trying to uh, to learn the software, I suppose. So, um, yeah, quite a simple one. That's all for now. I hope that helps.